Let's reason this aright. Which is worse, the pedophile who touches the kids, number one, or number two, the parents outside Michael Jackson's ranch to get their kid touched, number 9,999, so that they can get their kid touched, which nobody talks about, or three, the adulterous parent that cuts their kid in half, that is, kills them, makes them walking dead, according to Solomon, and he's not wrong. And tell me if you think he is. To destroy the kid's parent is to destroy their entire world. To cut the kid in half to make them less than $20 value, according to the Seventh Amendment. That is, anything over $20 value, you get a jury of 12. That means that if you have two kids, $10 value each. If you have three kids, $6.66 each. If you have four or $5 each. And they're carrying the Lord's name in vain, committing blasphemy and sacrilege. And they're teaching the kid that adultery is okay. And that um, you can get divorced and remarried, which is a lie. But as long as you get the idol. So it's idolatry also. So it, they also teach them to dishonor and disobey the parent, which is the first promise from God. The first command with a promise the fifth command, uh, with the, pro- the first one with the promise that the children live long and they receive the land. So therefore, they are rooting out the foundations of the children. The, the curse of a mother roots out the foundations of the children's house uh, of the nation. And the blessing of a father establishes the children's house. That means fidelity you die for. It. That is their blessing. They stay faithful to God. Now, which is worse? Again, Let's go through this again. Now let's apply reason, scripture, and common knowledge. Number one, who do you know of your brothers that ever looked at the kitty section? Who do you know of your brothers that ever just wants to touch? Can you name a lover that you just wanted to touch them and not go in? Men? No. Men want to penetrate. Men want to screw. Now, do men want to do this with kids? No. So it screams witchcraft. Behold, that's what we find in Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 2. They... Play with everybody as in youthful zest, doing witchcrafts, destroying the lilies of the field, that's the children, and destroying the rosebuds, that's the women. And and they do this in order to bring the righteous poor to a shameful, torturous end. Uh, Death, a shameful, torturous death to the righteous poor. Now, they also use witchcraft and small things to pervert every honest thing. And in the Gospels, they brought children unto Christ that he might touch them. Why did they do this? Why would he touch them? What are they doing? Well, it's right after he says no adultery. So then we have number two, where the parents are outside the line to get their kids touched so that they can haunt Michael. And number one doesn't really freaking exist. So anybody looking for them is a goddamn game plan liar. 